Good morning students. I hope you all have revised the terms which we have discussed yesterday. Today I am going to start with a new topic. Children, do you ever think about the air that you breathe every minute of every day? What is air made up of? Now, open your book on page 86 and let's start reading. What is air made up of? Air is a mixture of many gases. Underline word mixture and write its meaning combination. Underline this full line. Air is a mixture of many gases. It has mainly nitrogen, oxygen, carbon dioxide and water vapor. Underline word water vapor and write its meaning water in the form of gas. Air also contains smoke, dust and germs in it. Students, as we all know, air is all around us. The air you breathe is made up of lots of other things besides oxygen. These are nitrogen, carbon dioxide and water vapors. It also contains smoke, germs and dust particles. Now, let us gain more information about air through the following points. Number one, carbon dioxide gets into the air when living things breathe out. Underline word breathe out and write its meaning exhale. It also comes from burning coal, wood and other things. Students, carbon dioxide is released into the air as human being breathe out and it is the most common gas produced by burning wood and coal. Point number two, when pla green plants make their food, they give out oxygen. This oxygen mix with air. During the process of photosynthesis, plants release oxygen into the air. Point number three, in the sun, the water from ponds, rivers, oceans, lakes, etc. changes into water vapor and mixes with air. Students, have ever seen steam coming out from boiling water? This steam is called water vapor. In the same way, during daytime, due to the heat of sun, Water evaporates from water bodies in the form of water vapors and goes into the air. Come to fourth point. When we clean our houses and sweep the floors, dust rises and mixes with air. Underline word sweep and write its meaning mop. For example, when you clean your bookshelf or your room, all the dust particles mix with air. So you should use wet clothes while dusting. Point number five, germs from open garbage mix with air. Underline word garbage and write its meaning waste. Students, air contains a lot of very tiny living organisms called germs. These come from garbage that we people are used to keeping open. Point number six, smoke from the vehicles, factories, burning garbage, etc. mixes with air. Students, factories and burning the garbage produce large amount of smoke into the atmosphere which pollutes the air. Point number seven, the harmful things like smoke, dust and germs make air dirty. Dirty air is harmful to us and can spread many diseases. Underline word harmful 
and rightets meaning dangerous. Then underline word spread and rightets meaning transmission. And next word disease underline and rightets meaning illness. Students, the polluted air causes many problems like sneezing, coughing, asthma, lung cancer, etc. Next line, green plants clean the dirty air and make it fresh. We must grow as many plants as we can. Children, we should try to keep the air free from dust, germs and smoke. For example, we should grow more and more trees. Number two point, we should always keep the garbage covered. Number three, we should install tall chimneys in home and factories. Now, let's revise. Question number one, what is air? Air is a mixture of gases. Question number two, name the main gases of air. Nitrogen, oxygen and carbon dioxide are the main gases of air. Question number three. What does air contain? Air contains gases, dust, smoke. Tomorrow, I will continue with the next topic. Till then, read the chapter and revise questions. Thank you.